All right, so I stopped here in the back of this Pontiac Aztec or Rendezvous or whatever it is to discuss the options that we have. And by we, I mean, we're a team, right? Team driveway engineer. Um, I paid too much for this engine at $250 and it was incomplete. So I broke two of my rules and I'm doing this intentionally. I consider not doing it, but I'm doing this intentionally because sometimes people get themselves into this situation. So pay too much, it's incomplete. I want to make 650 tire. I want to run tens in a Dodge. I want to use drive-by cable because it's easier. So let's name off the options here. Um, and, and we have two that we're looking at right here. So option number one is easiest, find a truck like that. This already drive-by cable, take the P, the uh, 411 or P01, whatever you want to call it, processor out of it. Take the whole harness, take the intake and the drive-by cable throttle body. That's the easiest and the cheapest. It's still going to cost you like a hundred bucks. This is why I tell you buy a complete engine, right? Even paying junkyard prices, it's going to nickel and dime you. Um, option two, using the drive-by wire harness that I have, we can find a van, like an 06, 07 van PCM, that'll be P59 and can do drive-by cable. So I'm going to try to do that. We'll walk around. I'll probably put you guys on a time lapse, but we'll walk around and see what we can see. I don't actually know what year this, oh, it's a 99. I didn't know what year it was. I just knew that it was a good starting point this cab's been here for like a year so let's uh what i'm gonna try to do is find a van pcm like that you can actually find them in tahoes and stuff too if you find the right service number in lt1swap.com and i'll put a list on the screen of the service numbers that'll do drive-by wire or drive-by cable i'm sorry service numbers that will do drive-by cable with a p59 there's some out there and they're in trucks and stuff too it's just if you find a van if you find a van that's like an 0506 it's going to be drive by cable period um but it's going to be a p59 so you just absolutely know it'll work here's some gen 4 rods for those of you who just have to have that kind of thing cool beans i'm not sure how often they flip their inventory out here i don't think that it's super often but this place has only been open for about a year or two, so it took them a while to populate everything. And it'll probably take them a while to get everything out. So whatever this was doesn't matter because it's gone. Not complete. Somebody really, really wanted this. Goodness. Here's a... Oh. This is like a 2500 hood. I wonder if this is an LY6. Let me, uh. H62. Woo wee. That's the normal. That's weird. Those are the normal LM7 heads. I thought all the Gen 4s had 243s on a half ton. Anyway, that's of no use. I don't see much else down here. If you're wondering, these $3 ponchos from Harbor Freight only keep you mostly dry for a little while. I'm slowly but surely getting soaked. What do we got here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. We took all the throttle bodies apparently that's the thing another option is facebook marketplace and that's one that's in the back of my mind is there's a complete 4.8 liter with like 280,000 miles for 200 bucks and it has the pcm and it has the harness and it is red blue so i know that it's dry by wire well look here junkyard will provide as always what the shit did they cut the yeah 
Well, at the very least, that's the intake I want. That's 706 heads. Um, cruise box. Cruise module. Somebody really wanted a 4060, I guess. It's crazy. It's crazy the stuff folks do. I gotta pose for a selfie here so I can show the folks of the world. All right. Um, this is kind of a bummer because they took the harness. I was hoping to find something like that though. Yeah, they're cutting everything out of here. So anyway, I think I was saying that uh, there's a 4.8 liter on my local marketplace that is complete. The hot setup for a 5.3 is to slap 4.8 liter pistons or flat tops. And it's real similar to putting 5.3 heads on a 6.0 um, bumps and compression does, does you good. They're really just into cutting these. I could use this intake and injectors, um, but I really want to find something that's more or less complete. Somebody yeeted a 3.8 onto the ground where it belongs. So yeah, um, sometimes the junkyard doesn't provide, but 200 bucks all in, I can mix and match rings and uh, stuffs um, and that may be the route that I go of course there's always the micro squirt I wanted to go the micro squirt route I put a pull up a lot of people were interested in seeing the micro squirt stuff a lot of people were unaware of what it was I reached out to DIY auto tune I didn't hear back from them so um, we'll have to see of course it's still early it hasn't been very long that i haven't heard back from them there's another lm7 it's another cut harness though but yeah i i would really like to go that route personally although i have a 4l80 i guess we'll have to look over all the options and see what presents itself the junkyard will provide ultimately we know this right it's just a matter of putting in the work as i'm doing today you can tell that the the older well it's gotten the newer body but the older uh vortex ls engines have a squared off cover on them this dude left the harness that's nice well yeah, he cut the engine part. Genius. Why? Why, why, why? I used to work with this Vietnamese dude that would get really, really upset. And... Why, why, why? This one's got everything in it, but I'd have to cut it with my sawzall to get it out. It's kind of more effort than I really want to go to. It's all there, though. 05 no key I don't care about that it's the engine code on the oh smells like Newport's in here LM7 all right so yeah I'm probably gonna skip that if I find something good I'll come back for it but as I was saying the square cover is a sure sign of the uh, that it's a drive-by cable I don't know what the exact crossover was, but this is a long video. Hope you guys are enjoying. I bet I bet the watch time on this video is like 35% and the comments are, how do you find these things? As usual. You can't even 
can't even watch the damn video to <laughs> be bothered to find out how I find these things. It's a little crazy to me. Not a lot of vans out here. This is lucky self-serving Grand Rapids, by the way. Hopefully my stupid worthless poncho isn't making a ton of racket. It feels like it is to me. Big campaign runs. O2. This is what I what I need. 5.3 liter. Got the EGR block off on it. I totally left my socket set in that avalanche up front. sure it's a mundane somebody peeled it I'm curious if this is another L33 or L59 it's possible nope watch the vehicles will have a yellow cap um, I would like to take this entire harness I don't know if that's feasible today with that stupid little socket set that I brought. But I'm going to give it a whirl. So uh, let me go grab my socket set that I already lost and I'll be back here. so 10 minutes later dirty hands a little bit of a struggle bus with the shit socket set 411 that'll give me drive-by cable that'll give me 480 ability if i choose that i want it um i'm not going to try to struggle through pulling this harness today um i'm probably going to come back on saturday i think that now that i've taken the pcm probably nobody will mess with it but if they do they do the junkyard will provide we'll find another one um not in any particular rush for this I, i'm buying a new house so funds are you know a bit of an issue but uh so you guys know in the junkyard this middle block is the one that runs the fuel injection stuff so what i'm going to show you is how to do the entire truck with this harness this fuse block this harness and, and it'll run everything you don't have to thin anything you don't have to lt1 swap anything you don't have to terminator x anything this middle block runs a fuel injection this is inputs and outputs this is body function stuff um but i have I, my vacation's over so hopefully i can come back saturday and this will still be here or i'll get something else um we'll see but uh yeah, I got a 411 PCM. I thought I had one of these, but I actually didn't. And that's fine. You guys got to see the process and the glory of the junkyard and how it provides. And it never lets you down. You just have to keep at it. You can't call like one place and be like, how much for another swap? And then they tell you $1,200. And then you're like, oh my God, there's nowhere. Like you have to do more work than that. So um i thank you guys for watching interestingly this has dormant bolts on it i'm noticing uh this is probably a good engine to pull but uh well it's been messed with at least i'm gonna come back saturday and get this intake and the rest of this harness hopefully and if not we'll wait till the junkyard provides something else but there's not a terrible amount to it um you know that'll be next week's video i guess
and we'll continue on so thanks for watching guys i'm going to cut this down into something hopefully watchable 10 minutes or less we'll see you next time on the driveway engineer